hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to see how to create a pipeline with a bit bucket this is the uh, just a demo project uh, you can understand what bit bucket can do with the pipeline here so uh, i already have shown about the bit bucket what it can do you can go through my last video um, there is a introduction about a bit bucket jira and confluence so here we are going to see how we can uh, create a bit bucket pipeline so you have to create first of all project you go to create and create the project and um, so here i'm going to create a project uh, which is uh, name has uh, bitbucket uh, demo uh, project okay so here you can give um, some description as per your wish and uh, this is not a private project so if you want to create a private um, so you can go with this option and uh, just create project so once you created this project next you have to create some repository here so i'm going to create a, a repository choose your project here and um, repository name bitbucket pipeline demo and this is going to be public and there is no readme file here and i'm going to choose branch as a main and i'm going to add dot ignore uh, this directory i'm going to add so create a repository here so you can see here um so bitbucket demo project is my project under that i have a repository here you can you can create multiple uh, repositories under this project so as a project or as a, uh, it is like something like you are going to separate with your project under that related uh, with this uh, project you are going to store your repositories here so i created bitbucket pipeline demo and um, so here i have a dot git ignore so i'm going to add my other files here so here i'm going to uh, create my files here before that uh, I, I want to clone the repository so for that i'm going to clone it's cloned my repository so actually uh, it's cloned my repository let uh, let's open the folder first of all and when you check git remote iphone v it will show you the repository url now the repository is uh, mapped with this folder so i'm going to uh, create my documents or my configuration files here now you can see here i have created the all required documents no need to worry about this this is a sample demo project uh, i will give you the repository url uh, you can clone from there itself also so this is uh, app.py i'm going to take a sample as a python uh, project so which is the app.py and uh, test.py which is also the uh, one of the file and uh, you should need a requirement.txt you have to create the docker file here here i mentioned as a python as my uh, base image and working directory here and i'm going to copy the uh, requirements.txt uh, file so and i'm going to run one of the layer pip3 and i'm going to cmd commands which is, which are going to de run the default arguments for this python project so these are my projects uh, project configuration files and then uh, there is a uh, one more uh, pipeline file which is known as a bitbucket pipeline.yaml so i got this file from uh, in the bitbucket itself let's show you how i got it so you can go to pipeline here once you go to the pipeline it won't get enabled first of all for you have to enable this pipeline first of all from your site so that it will get enabled so initially 50 built minutes per month free for you so once it got enabled you can uh, create your first pipeline so there are the lot of sample templates available uh, which is with the bitbucket so here i am i just taken from the publish a docker image so which is the code here same code i have taken and there is no difference i am going to uh, use the same code here i just copied that code and uh, so this code should be named as uh, bitbucket iphone pipeline.yaml uh, once i created this code clear the screen and uh, git status so oh, you can see here these are the untracked files here i am going to add so 
once uh, add this you can see uh, this or in this tagged area so now we are going to do the commit process once you committed uh, you can give push so that it automatically push to your repository you can see here uh, with the source code um, here uh, we don't have any uh, other files once i give git push it will push the codes to your repository because it's already mapped with your repository um so once it got pushed you can go and uh, refresh with your uh, repository here so you can see our uh, docker file bitbucket pipeline yaml every file got pushed to our repository now you are going to uh, run your pipeline so go to your pipeline um so before that uh, we have to define our uh, repository uh, variables so for that you go to bitbucket pipeline so in that uh, you can see your uh, variables so you have to define your variables here i am going to give the docker username because once image got created it it will push to your docker repo docker repo so uh, go to your uh, repository settings and uh, in these repository variables you can you will see like this so you, you have to define your um, username which is your uh, docker hub username i'm going to define here so next uh, variable uh, we have to give the uh, docker pass docker hub password so i just added and one more thing you have to define uh, which is a uh, docker hub uh, namespace here uh, here uh, the username uh, which i given so same uh, as the uh, namespace so these three variables uh, you should add add here so that uh, it will do the authentication process so next uh, we go to our pipeline go to your pipeline uh, run initial pipeline you have to choose your main branch and the pipeline which is master so run now our pipeline got uh, started running uh, you can see here uh, which is the uh, uh, hash one uh, now we are running with the main branch uh, so you can choose your branch uh, future branch or any other branch uh, which you are going to give so you can see now image is getting built so behind the scene there is a docker container uh, which uh, docker is already installed with the cloud of the bitbucket atlassian so which is uh, doing for the building process um, so here you no need to uh, create any servers for uh, building those images Before that, we are going to log in our uh, Docker Hub. Now it's successfully uh, deployed, which is uh, the image got pushed to the Docker Hub. You can see here our image got pushed a few seconds ago. So like this, uh, you can create your uh, different different uh, pipelines for your uh, projects. Um, so uh, this is the demo for uh, Docker. Uh, build image and pushing to the um, pushing to the docker hub so if you like this video uh, give thumbs up uh, it will encourage me and um, uh, follow me for uh, more videos uh, with the subscription thanks for watching see you on the next video